Hello Mulis. In this video, we shall see one of the inbuilt functions of MuleSoft uh, data view that is called lookup function. So we know that there are lot of inbuilt functions in data view. So one of them is Mule lookup function. So why this Mule lookup function is used is instead of using a flow reference, it is an alternative to call any other private flows. So remember, Mule lookup function can be used only to call private flows, but not for subflows. All right. So few of the things I wanted to let you know. So let let me share with them. Uh, this is a simple flow okay, which I have created with a listener over here. So just a test. Okay. Next I am setting the payload. I will tell you what are the differences and what are the important points you need to keep in mind when you are using mu lookup function. So currently I am setting my set payload value as hello mu list. All right. So then I am using a set variable component here. I will tell you the reason why I am I, why I wanted to use set variable here to just show. So here you can see I am having a JSON response saying like message mule lookup. So this lookup the, there are like two parameters right two arguments that we are passing. The first argument should be the private flow name that you want to call. So you can see testing flow one, which is nothing but here this one. And the second one is the payload that you want to pass. So most of them might think like this payload is nothing but the payload which is returning from here. No. So you are actually what you are doing is you are calling this private flow with passing the payload. If you want to pass any other value here like vas dot something also you can pass so that your private flow you can see here, right? I am having something like payload plus plus how are you? So I need to pass this hello mule is okay. So what I am doing is in mule lookup function, I am passing that particular payload okay. So that that payload is passed to the private flow and that is appended. So it will be like hello mule is how are you and here finally set payload is what we need to think here. I am currently setting vars dot my mule because I wanted to show you something okay. So my application is already in debug mode. Let us let me show you the first thing very important thing which most of you guys must understand is there are only two parameters two arguments that I am passing but mule lookup function uh, is you know it will accept three total three arguments one is the private the flow name okay. Uh, the payload or some any other value that you want to pass and also the timeout uh, response in milliseconds you need to pass. What if we are not passing that? So let us see okay. That is the first thing which you need to keep in mind. I am sending the request okay. So you can see I am here okay. As you are using mule lookup it will call the private flow okay. Let us I will I am taking some time okay just to show you that how timeout error might occur. Okay. Usually if at all your private flow is having some kind of database operations or any external connections right. So you have to make sure that you are giving proper timeout exception. You can see now it will give you okay. It will error out because you can see here right. So it is saying exception while executing lookup function saying that timed out after 2000 milliseconds. Okay. That means if you are not providing any milliseconds in your set variable component, the, the default timeout is 2000 milliseconds which is very less. So if at all your private flow is having any database operations or SFTP operations or any external connections, please try to increase your timeout accordingly. Okay. So for now, this is the error that you might get. Okay. So make sure that you pass some timeout exception. Okay, the mill in milliseconds. So let me add. So comma. So I'll give like twenty. I'll give like six thousand one, six thousand milliseconds. Okay. Let me save it. This is the very important point which most of them, you know, sometimes they fail to check. So that is very important when you are having some kind of external connections in your private flow. Okay my application got restarted. Let me send it again. So my request is here. So next, next. So you can see now I did not get any kind of timeout response. Another thing which I wanted to say is here you can see I am setting the payload right. My private flow is having payload. You might be thinking the resultant payload might be like hello world like you know 
uh, hey Mulis, how are you? No, you can see here the payload which is coming is the payload which we have set here. Okay. So, you have to understand that when if even though you are calling a private flow, the payload will not be overridden. The resultant payload just it will only append that value to your tag, okay, data view, this message. It is confined only till here. It will not override the existing payload. That is the reason you can see here, still you can see your payload as hello Mulis, but not hey hello Mulis, how are you, okay. But that is the reason again I, am, I wanted to show you that I, that is the reason I am showing this in a variable. You can see my mule. So, here you can see message hello mule is how are you got it. So, now this payload I am setting it into a variable. So, you should be seeing your final message as hello mule is how are you. So, it is very simple, uh, but you need to take few uh, you know uh, few th you need to keep few things in mind. First thing is whenever you are using mule lookup, you should be using only for to call a private flow. Okay. Second thing is you have to keep the proper timeout response. Third thing whatever you are passing here is nothing but that you wanted to send to your private flow. Okay. Not that you should not think that it is coming from the private flow. Okay. That is the second other thing you need to keep in mind. So, you must be wondering someone uh, like why uh, when there is a flow reference to call any uh, you know private flow or subflow why do we need to use lookup. Okay. In this case in this case right we are using in data view and for this particular value you need to call this you know flow. Then in such cases uh, we will be using new lookup we cannot use flow reference here for this purpose is not it. Also there might be a case where you know uh, there is a if condition if payload is not equal to null you, you want to print actual payload else you need to call. So, only when else condition is there you need to call that particular flow. In such cases, we will be using mule lookup. Okay, it is very simple. Uh, so don't make any mistakes while coding. Okay, first you need to test us. So before going to anything, just you can test it over using a small POC and do it. Hope you like this content.